to my April monthly reset. It's a new month and I am so excited to start off a fresh new month. It is warmer outside. I know I've been saying this in like all of my videos lately, but like you don't understand. My personality is different in the spring and summer. I am so glad that spring is upon us and it's a new month, it's a fresh month, and I'm just feeling inspired to like change up the space. So we're doing our monthly reset today. We're talking about our intentions for the month. We're budgeting. We're talking about our favorites from last month. We're reflecting on the last month. So yeah, guys, I'm super excited. But if you're new here, hello, my name is Janet Dome. Mahina. Hello, if you're new here, I make feel good content centered around being and feeling your best. And I hope you subscribe. And yeah, guys, we're gonna get into this. March, I set two intentions. One intention was to get outside more, be outside more, run, all those things. And I feel like I was outside quite a bit this past month. Every time Michael was outside doing yard work, I made it a point to go outside with him too and to help out, even though I hate, I hate yard work. One thing about me is I don't like bugs. I don't, I, don't like bugs okay so if i see a cricket if i see any type of critter a spider i'm never going outside again okay <laughs> yeah but like i helped out with some yard work and i tried to just be outside with him more just because the weather was better and i don't know something about the sun hitting my skin just elevates my mood so i just tried to be outside as much as possible this past month We're trying to get better at running hun it's not easy second intention was to be more present and i was this past month we went to go see sizza it was like the best concert ever i cried I cried when she sung gardens i cried when she did 20 somethings i cried when she did broken cloth such a great experience michael and i had like such a good time and like i took a weekend off from posting to hang out with my sister taking some time offline so i was a little bit more present this month and i think that was much needed for me because i just feel super refreshed going into the next month so some of my intentions for april okay what are my intentions for April. I want to continue doing my juice cleanse, which I know you guys are probably like, what juice cleanse, girl? I know a lot of people do not like juice cleanses, which I am one of those. I'm not really big on just drinking juice only, which is not what I'm doing. I'm not only drinking juice all day, every day, but I am drinking a juice in the morning and a juice at night, solid foods for lunch, and I'm eating like a solid like salad or something for right before dinner. It's been working so well. I'm trying to get into a calorie deficit, and I don't know. I just needed something different that just wasn't I don't know what I've been doing lately and it's just been so fun for me I went to pressed juicery last week and they had six juices for $35 and I'll show you the juices I have left right <laughs> these are the juices I have so far I've already drinking I've already drank all of the other juices but this is what they look like focus sucks uh, I love them I'm probably gonna drink one of these tonight this is a citrus two this is the greens three right here this one's apple, cucumber, celery, lemon, spinach, ginger, kale, parsley, and this one's apple, pineapple, lemon, and mint. So these are my last two. So yeah, guys, I've been incorporating those juices into my diet. And again, I know it's not for everyone. I'm not like telling you that you should do it. It's just what I've been doing to help me get into more of a calorie deficit. And again, I am eating solid food. I'm just fasting, I guess, a little bit more when it comes to solid food, but I'm not doing it for a long time. I'm doing it this week and I think I'm gonna continuing it, continuing it. So I'm doing it this week and then we're going on vacation next week. So obviously I'm not gonna do it next week, but when we get back from vacation to help me like reset, I'm gonna do it again. I might do it like once a month or once every other week. I know I can make my own juices. I'm not gonna lie, it's convenient to just grab it from the fridge, shake it up and just drink it. I feel amazing every single day and I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm not hungry. I'm not starving myself or anything like that. I feel amazing. So another intention for April is I want to elevate our space more. Michael and I have been doing a little bit more like home improvement. We changed the mattress upstairs, changed the mulch outside, and we're going to do a lot more of that in April and May. I've, like redone my whole bed, which my bed right now, this bed feels like a cloud. Spring just makes me feel fresh. It makes me feel excited. It makes me want to change everything up, throw out all my old clothes or donate all of our old clothes. I have upgraded our whole bedroom experience. I got some new sheets from Brooklinen, which if you haven't tried Brooklinen, guys, they sent me over some products and I love them so much. They just helped me kickstart this whole 
bedroom transformation. Thank you so much, Brooklyn, for sponsoring this video. They are a luxury sheets company that offers high quality home goods to elevate your space, to elevate your home. Their philosophy is that everyone deserves clean, beautiful home essentials at a fair price. They sent us over the Lux Hardcore Bundle, okay? It includes duvet cover, it includes a flat and fitted sheet, and four pillowcases. I got them in the cream color, guys. This is my first time doing the whole duvet thing. I'm never going back. It is so important for you to not only have sheets that you love, but sheets that last long and that get softer with each wash. We spend a third of our life in bed sleeping, and it's so important for you to invest in sheets that are just going to help elevate your sleep. These sheets make me not want to wake up. <laughs> they make me not want to get out of bed because they're so comfortable. They have the option for you to choose from the Classic Hardcore Bundle or the Lux Hardcore Bundle. We went with the Lux, okay? The Classic is cooling, it's lighter weight, it's better for the hotter months. We decided to go with the Lux Hardcore Bundle because it is still very cold at night here in Texas. It's more tightly woven, it's a little bit heavier in weight. These sheets have a 480 thread count and they just have a slightly luxurious luminous texture it looks just so beautiful and dreamy during golden hour i love it you're able to mix and match and choose from 20 different colors on their website. So instead of buying individual items, you can save 25% by just buying the bundles. So we've been sleeping in these sheets for about a week now and I am obsessed. I need more because I know I'm just going to be washing and reusing and washing and reusing these. If you are interested in Brook Linen, please click the link and check out Brook Linen. You can use my code Janet N to get $20 off of your orders of $100 or more. I am so, 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 so excited to elevate this space and get it all like nice and cozy Just make it a whole vibe we're gonna do our budget we're gonna do our budget I'm so nervous actually I'm not nervous I already saw what I spent this month <laughs> can I just say that I love that daylight savings is upon us because it is seven o'clock and I'm still able to film <sighs> I love it so much. I hated having to wrap up early. I, I love that I'm able to film late in the day. Oh gosh, it makes things so much better. My income was $6,850. I do not include my brand partnerships in my total income on these budgets. I gave $800 towards our mortgage this past month. I budgeted for 500, but I ended up giving a little bit more. 75 for Wi-Fi per usual. Our utilities came out way cheaper than I was expecting. I don't know why I thought it was gonna be a boost. Phone, 180 because I got a new phone. Ah, I'm so excited. Got the iPhone 14 Pro Mac. $100 for insurance, so my bills came out to 17.42. Let's go into our expenses. So groceries, I only spent 360 on groceries this month, even though I budgeted 450. Michael did some of the grocery shopping this month. I took him with me several times. I didn't go out to eat as much as I thought I would, which I don't even know why I thought I'd go out to eat that much. I only spent 210 on restaurants. Have not been spending any money on like coffee out and about, which I'm so proud of myself. I gave it up for Lent, so only $20 on the pods. I spent $865 on miscellaneous because, guys, I bought a new camera. I know you guys are probably like, girl, you, you showed this camera in the last video. Why aren't you using it? <laughs> I know, I look crazy. I'm still not using it. I'm still learning it, guys. I'm scared to use it. Self-care, I spent $2.30. I did my lashes, I did my nails, and I get my hair done tomorrow, but that's gonna be included in next month's budget. Um, clothing, I spent $3.10. Um, gifts, $200. We went to our friend's birthday party this past month. I got her a gift. I got Michael a little anniversary gift too, which was nice. So I spent 200 on gifts. My expenses were a little bit more expensive this month, primarily because of the camera that I purchased, but I don't purchase cameras every month. <laughs> I put a thousand towards my short-term savings. I put a little bit more and then I'm spending, I'm planning to only spend a thousand dollars on vacation. Hawaii is not cheap. So yeah. <laughs> I definitely do think I'm going to spend that full thousand dollars while we're there. And when you look at my breakdown, I had 26% on bills, which that's good. I've been trying to raise the amount I help out with bills. Um, expenses 35%, which is a little higher because of the camera that I bought and some other 
yeah, because of the camera pretty much. Savings is almost 30%, which is great. And extra debt is 9%. So let's do our April budget. 400 for utilities to, wait, 100 towards the phone. 350 this month. Just because we're going on vacation. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Um, restaurants, let's do 450 because I feel like this is going to be an expensive month. I'm getting my hair braided tomorrow and then we get my lashes done. So let's say 380 Um, well, I'm getting my lashes done in two weeks, so. Clothing, don't plan on spending too much on clothes this month. Let's just pay 200 Gifts, let's just do 100 Subscriptions, oh, I'm gonna do a little bit more on gifts because my sister's graduating and I'm gonna get her gift and then it's one of my friend's birthday and I wanna send her something too, so I'm gonna say 200. Budget for $1,000 for savings. That's the April budget. I get a lot of questions about like tips on content creation and I do wanna share a few tips. I've been doing this for three years so there's just been so much that I've learned about content creation. So if you have a channel and you've been doing this for a while, I think it's important to remember what your why is and what value you are trying to give to your audience. Every single time I get into a creative rut or every single time I start to feel a little like off when it comes to like creating, I sit down and I remember why I'm doing this. I really love making self-improvement content, help you feel more confident in your journey, in your self-growth journey. As I'm going through my own self-growth journey, I think it's really big for me to share what I've been through in the past, what I'm going through now, how I've learned from the situations that I've been in and how I've grown from those situations. That is like my biggest why. And like I expose myself a lot <laughs> on my channel, but I think it really does help people connect and it helps people really feel like they're not alone and I don't care that I share a lot of like my flop stories and the things that I've been through because I feel like it's helping people and that's all that matters to me honestly someone commented on my last vlog calling it a vlog with purpose <laughs> I love that because that's how I feel I don't like to just vlog and be like oh I'm drinking water yay yum like <laughs> I'm gonna drink my water and I'm gonna tell you why I'm trying to drink more water. I'm gonna tell you why you should drink more water. I'm gonna tell you stories about, you know, what water has done for me in my life. And I know this sounds like very stupid, but it's just adding value into your audience's life. You don't have to post like twice a week. You can post once a week, but make sure you are posting once a week. Make sure that you are really keeping up with the posting schedule because it does make a difference. I get questions about my editing and my music. I love using the music that I use in my videos because I literally think I'm living in a movie. In my last video, I talked about how much I grew up watching sitcoms. I loved That's So Raven. I love Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, Saved by the Bell, all of those high school musical. Like I really, like I don't know, I was obsessed with those shows, those movies movies with music and stuff like it takes me so long to find music that matches the moods that I'm going for with my videos I promise you like my editing process is probably longer than most if a song just does not match the mood I'm not just gonna throw it in there and keep going no I'm gonna keep looking and it takes me so long to find songs because I don't like to reuse songs in like my videos so often I do reuse them but you won't hear the same songs in like videos that are right next to each other if that makes sense so I'm always looking for new songs I, I use thematic and I think I'm gonna start using epidemic sound here soon just so I can have a variety and I can find more music the biggest difference on my channel it's like the biggest thing and I get so many compliments about that and I'm so grateful so thank you guys I I appreciate all of your compliments. I took a lot of time and a lot of practice to get where I am now. Your first couple of videos aren't gonna be great. Your first year of videos aren't gonna be great. It took me three years to get to where I am now with editing. All right, that's all. Let me know if you have any more tips that you want me to elaborate on on the next monthly reset in terms of like content creation and stuff, but I did wanna throw those in there because I do get a lot of questions. Again, I'm vlogging on the Canon G7X right now, and 
we have the Sony ZV E10 that's gonna be the new baby of this channel here soon. Let's talk about our favorites before we close out this video, okay? I'm switching up my favorites this time. I'm doing music first. My favorite music lately has been like basically throwbacks, well not throwbacks, but like I've been loving Thames. I've been loving listening to all of her music because her music is just such a vibe. I love Afro beats. I love her song Essence, especially around this time. Like, you don't need no other body. It gets me so excited for the summer and it just like brings the vibes up. Now that Taylor Swift is on her Eras tour, I've been obsessed with all of her music because I've just been watching all the TikToks. So I've been obsessed with Taylor Swift lately. I've been watching the Eras tour pretty much on TikTok. Did buy tickets to see Drake this summer, which we're so excited about. So because of that, I've been listening to a lot of Drake. Um, another favorite of mine is my water drop water bottle. Okay, this thing literally sits on my nightstand. I got the Bay's mini weekender bag for travel. This is Shea Mitchell's brand. Guys, I got it in black and this is so structured, so nice. I'm so excited to travel with it this weekend. It just is so large. And this is the mini weekender. And it's just so big. And I'm gonna link all this stuff down below. It has a place for my laptop. And it has a place to like literally insert it onto your like suitcase so you can roll it around easily. It's just so practical, basically. Like there's space at the bottom where I can put like a lot of my shoes or swimsuits. It's just, it's perfect. It's the perfect travel bag. I just got the Bath and Body Works Coco Paradise Candle. So good, guys. It is salted coconut manoi, sugared neroli, bronze sandalwood with essential oils. I honestly think it just smells like a vanilla cupcake with chocolate hints. I have the wallflowers, they smell amazing. And that is a good scent, like really great scent. It's new. Movie, we recently watched Don't Worry Darling on Amazon Prime. Interesting, it's with Harry Styles. It's about like a utopian society and honestly the wife is living literally the same day every single day and she's just starts to pick up that where she's living is kind of weird. <laughs> I don't know, it's a, it's a different movie, it's a different movie. Y'all have to check it out, but I really liked it. It's on Amazon Prime. Coffee, I've been making my coffee at home with my Nespresso machine. So many of you ask me if I'm like really loving the Nespresso machine, yes. It took us a while to get used to it because the coffee definitely tastes very different than like the Keurig, but like once you get used to it, oh, it's just, you can't go back, you cannot go back. I love our Nespresso. I love the way it makes coffee. Oh my God. I have been loving the Caramel Cookie Pod. I've been using Califia's Oat Creamer in Cinnamon Roll oh, with a little bit of brown sugar. It's a whole vibe. It's so good, guys. So great. Dutch Bros Who? I actually really like Dutch Bros though too. I love Dutch Bros, but guys, so good, so delicious. So that's been my favorite this past month. There's so much that's been going on in the world with the TikTok ban. I really hope they don't ban TikTok. It's definitely an escape for me and I get a lot of trends off of TikTok too. I really hope they don't ban it. I'm gonna be really sad if they do. The whole Hailey Bieber versus Selena Gomez thing. Selena made a statement today about like telling everyone to stop bullying Hailey because Hailey reached out to her and said that she's getting death threats. Which honestly guys, like I think that like everyone's gone way too far and like I have just stopped consuming content about it. Like I just scroll right past the Hailey Bieber, Selena Gomez thing because like no one deserves that type of bullying that Hailey has been enduring. It's actually really sad. And the thing is like we shouldn't be consuming it as I sit here talking about it. Like <laughs> As I sit here talking about it, right? But no, really though, like we should not be <laughs> feeding into this drama. It's so sad. Like we say that we're anti-bullying, but then we're bullying Haley. Not we, not me. I've never done it. I do watch this stuff on TikTok, but I don't engage in the bullying at all. But I think it's best to just like scroll past it and just stop giving it energy, stop giving it time because it's just not fair. She should be, she shouldn't be living her life 
being bullied. Like, she doesn't deserve that. So. Yeah, guys, that's gonna be it for this April monthly reset. It's gonna be a great month. I'm so excited to just enjoy this month with you guys. So, yeah, stay tuned for all the fun content. I've planned so many fun videos for April. We're getting back into, like, great videos. We're getting into really great content in the month of April, okay? Sorry. We're getting into really great content in the month of April, so I'm so excited. So stay tuned, and yeah, guys. And I wanna say thank you so much, Brooke Linen, for sponsoring this video. Make sure you guys check out Brooke Linen, okay? I'm gonna put my code, I'm gonna put my code here and down below again. Make sure you use Janet N. With that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. 